Hello. We are really late. <laughs> I apologize. I was taking a nap. I'd probably still be asleep, but Mr. Noodle woke me up. <laughs> it reminded me to stream. So, hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Should learn how to set an alarm. Maybe I just wanted to sleep, Noodle. Maybe that's a possibility. <laughs> No, I I appreciate you, love. I am exhausted today, though. Uh, do you have votes that you want your thing to go on? Your subscription to go on? No, I don't mind that you woke me up. I thanked you for it, after all. God of War? Okay, I'll do that now. Otherwise, if I don't, I will forget, because <laughs> memory is bad. God of War, five votes, Mr. Noodle. God of War. 98. There we are. <sighs> <laughs> Normally get bombarded in this <laughs> Actually, I don't think anyone's active tonight, are they? At least not that I saw. I think the world just wanted me to sleep today. I'm still half asleep, by the way, so... <laughs> just throwing that out there. Have a look at the man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time, and I, I don't think I can do it. You got I'm this, Rodrigue. If I fail... Well, you survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden, and we must mm. lift that burden. So are they, like, taking the undetected. skin from... The arm may be dangerous, but it's also essential to help the face heal. We undergo it willingly. That's neat. No, I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry, I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, so the first thing that he's doing is how is this okay? The there we go. <laughs> it's like, where's the Something where's the go get I this thing for us bit? The infirmary's ammonia can't have a sad so quest like, without uh having to go and fetch something. We have would barely be enough for removing a splinter. Ammonia. A I just don't have the time now. We're, we'll help. You <laughs> you'll, you'll go. Oh. Thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Amber in Rosaria, okay. For the bright blue blossoms. Amber Rosaria. I'm probably going to forget that, but the quest marker should help us out. Uh, there's another side quest we can grab, and then wasn't there a hunt in that area as well? I'm not going to check the hunt board until right before we leave, because otherwise I'm going to forget, but like, yeah. Do I need anything? Uh, I don't think so. I have at least a little bit of drink left, so I should be good for next hour or so. Curse Breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. The goblins? Really? To release a stolas amid the confusion, but... <sighs> this was days ago. They should Bruh. be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. It better be a group of, like, them giant ones or something, man. How our curse breakers can't deal with I'm sure they're fine. But what if a small band of killed? goblins? Come on. Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. 
but I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon's airy. Hmm, there again? Much more than that, I'm afraid. Boggy. There should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Back to the Dragon's Airy then. Um, is Dragon's Airy in Rosaria though? That I can't remember. No, it's on the other side. Okay, in North Reach. Very well. Guess we just got a couple different stops we gotta make. What about La Hunt though? Might as well talk to Gage or whatever the hell. Quick look. Always something mm. ooh, in there. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. Dive. There's two menus. Anything catch your eye? Nothing. Think okay. Can help? I still don't understand the point of that guy, to be honest with you. He nearly never has missions. Okay, so one hunt. Muddy murder. Hawks cry cliff. That's right. Hawks cry on cliffs. I remember. And Rosaria. Hawks cry cliff Rosaria. Oh. Oh. Even better. It's like right there. So somewhere in here. Hawks cry cliff. Guess it could be... Anywhere in here. Okay. Cool. No, that's perfect, though. Teleport there real quick. See if we can find our hunt and uh, get some pain-killing herbs, I guess. Might as well complete the side quest first. We can look for the thing while we're at it. The river was easy enough to find. No for Chocobo, those what's up, man? Welcome, my guy. Why are the raptors fighting the hornets, man? Oh, damn it. Oh, that's right. We got this stuff, the titan stuff. Is it? It goes up in the air, right? It should be able to take care of some of the hornets. Yeah. And the block? I completely forgot about all of this shit. Probably be careful we don't uh, damage these here flowers we're here for. <laughs> God, Noodle. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. Hope is the right one. Get back and it's not. Completely different plant. More coffers are really so low that we couldn't like get an example or something at least. Let's cry cliff. This seems like an awfully small area for a hunt, but maybe tucked away over there somewhere. I call and call and you know answers. Then I have to go all the way upstairs and you're trying to cook chicken patties, you poor thing. I'm so sorry I pulled you away from your chicken patties. But thank you, love. I appreciate you. Damn, you're not the... I feel like that wasn't very sincere. I'm half asleep. What do you want from me?
Okay, nothing yet. Hawk's Cry Cliff goes on for a bit though, so it could be anywhere around here. I'm not trying to pick a fight with those things. I just kind of wanted that. That whole 15 gil there. It was important to me. What can I say? You to be sincere. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Thank you for waking me up, love. I appreciate you. You are appreciated. Thank you. Now, where is this damn thing? <laughs> okay, well, shoot. That took us technically to... Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that works. <laughs> I was just going to say that that took us to a, a duel or whatever the hell it's called, so it probably won't be around here anywhere. But nope, I was wrong. Oh, you are... I'm used to Flan being, like, resistant to physical and weak to magic. What I'm not used to is Flan using such powerful magic themselves. That's not quite what I meant to do, but whatever. Honestly, I don't think it's realistic to expect anyone to accomplish that. Like, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna die, <laughs> get my potions back, and then we'll and then we'll do the fight again. It'll be fine. Bro, I don't know how far he's made it, if at all. But I was watching a video of a, a guy that has at least started to try to beat Final Fantasy 16 with nothing but magic. And I feel so bad for him, man. <laughs> like, that sounds terrible. He is in for a rough time. The video was only like 20 some minutes long though, so I'm not positive that he didn't just give up on it. Which I wouldn't blame him if he did, because <laughs> that is going to be a slow and grueling task. Abilities only, yeah, I don't think it would be too bad, but he was talking about like even skipping out on things like like limit breaks and things like that which bruh just wild now does limit break increase your 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 damage output just as a whole or just physical me. damn well I saw that happening because <coughs> I mean if it's just physical damage then I guess it oh wait it only let us start from near Sopolis that's weird um, if it's just physical damage, then yeah, I mean, it more or less makes sense to, to skip it, but if increases all, then like, whew, read it. Oh, sure. Good, good idea. <laughs> I guess that's a thing that helps. Uh, improving battle performance for a short period of time. Changes attack style, doubles spells. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's something I didn't really understand. Like, why not do that? Oh, it also increases defense by 10%. Nice. Prevents stagger when taking damage? Oh, okay, okay. I was thinking, like, the stagger gauge that enemies have, but I guess that makes sense. It's, uh, not like the stagger gauge. It's like getting knocked back from hits and stuff like that. 
Yeah, so, like, I don't understand that, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, good on him. I hope it goes, works out well for him if he does decide to, to do it to completion, but that's going to be a rough one, man. I think it was Primal Liquid on YouTube, I think. Memory's not the greatest of things, though, so I'm not positive. I'm sure if you search something along the lines of, like Final Fantasy 16 Magic only, it'll pop up. <laughs> I teleported right into that. That was some bullshit. I want to get him on that half stagger, dude. Let's go. There we go. <clears throat> get a little bit of health back real quick, maybe. Work that stagger gauge down. He doesn't really have a good time outside of stagger to use, like, these abilities, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate how every time you stagger something, you get set back from it, like, a set amount. <laughs> that really screws things up, man. <laughs> Most of that ability ended up just being a miss. The, the Titan block thing works against magic. Titanic block. Crap, that hurt. I don't know what he just did to us, but it did not feel good. Okay, so it, it does work, but it breaks our shield, which makes sense. I mean, they are like Faraga and stuff. Just kicking our ass, man. I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap! Oh, dude.
be so close. There we go. Out of potions, though. We really got to be careful finishing this off. Two-thirds of the way there. I'm waiting for that tri-cast to start up. So the problem with the titanic block combo there is that, like, this dude doesn't stagger. Bro. Nope. Nope, bad timing. Okay, get a tiny bit of health back from that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hands down hurts. And then Thundaga, yup. Basically Tri-Cast, I don't know why they don't just call it Tri-Cast. Gonna let the tornado do its thing, dude. <laughs> I can't see shit. I need to when I when I precision dodge, I need to remember that you can also use magic. I've been avoiding retaliating with square with the the regular attack. Oh no no no! Because I don't want to get in too close. No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. You bastard, you were so close. Oh my God, dude. He was so close. That's annoying as shit. Okay. It's all right. We're getting warmed up. <laughs> we got it now. Oh. So there are just certain combos he does that we don't want to be doing the Titanic block, con uh, the whatever, combo? You want to call it a combo? During because he can retaliate and beat the shit out of us while we're punching him. That was the big thing I just learned. And also just the fact that, hey, you have Titanic block. <laughs> Make use of it. Also, the tornado seemed to do pretty decent damage on him. I'm guessing he... I don't know if magic resistance is a thing in this game or not. Because, like, we only have one defense pool, so I don't know if it's the same for enemies, but... No turning back. And maybe it's just because I'm thinking of, like, every other Final Fantasy game, but... I just expect Flan to be weak, too. Oh shit, he's doing Thundaga. Or not, is this, is this, what is that? That's not Thundaga. Nate, what's up, guy?
He stands around a lot. I'm gonna just use the tornado whenever it's available. I mean, he does jump sometimes, but like... Lately, I've been trying to save it for whenever we get the half thing on somebody. The half stagger. 26 more votes on Jack, too. My guy. And another. <laughs> oh, damn you. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong, wrong dude. <laughs> wrong icon. No, oh, that was close. I need to be careful whenever the tornado thing happens that I don't run into it again, dude. Okay, and that actually has two hits, too. Come on, get him, get him into, let's go. He's definitely got a high defense, man, of that much, I'm sure. Oh no, no, shit. I don't like being on the edge. I have no movement. I needed that. Damn you. The pickles are all gone. How dare they? Now we'll have to make more soon, love. I'm actually kind of sad about that myself, not gonna lie. Nope, just dodging this one. I don't think the Titanic block, he breaks our shield on that. I know that much for sure. And I don't think our Titanic block like staggers him in any way while he's doing that.
damn it. Nice miss <laughs> on that precision dodge revenge, man. Oh shit, okay, the fire still hurts when you walk through it. I mean, that makes sense, but like when the ground catches fire, I didn't realize that. Learn a new technique. This one's annoying. Damn it. Come on, stagger. Thank you. Should be done. Let's go. There we go. Not a great fight, but it's amazing what a little bit of knowledge does for you, man. Hell of a lot better than the first couple, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, okay. To be fair to the first one, the first first try, I was also, you know, one potion or high potion. And that was it. It was a flan, man. Weren't you paying attention? Flan. So where are we going now? It's not here. It's uh, Dragon Airy. That's where we're going. It's this way. I don't even remember why. Caravan. Caravan of missing branded and uh, curse breakers. That's it. Oh. It's weird that it told us Northreach was the one to go to. I guess it's like right in between, the, but like Dragon's Airy, man, is literally where it told us to go. Slavers don't even Isn't that a good thing, though? <laughs> Who wants slavers in their town, man? Personally, I'd rather they just fuck off, not come to visit. I don't know why I put a thing there when I have the side quest marker right there. All right, Torgal, do your thing. I was told if you were here... Oh, well, they're right there, man. <laughs> what do we need Tor Torgal for? Get me back on my feet or tear those bastards heads off. I like your fight, my guy. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking... What are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. <laughs> Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. 
You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may Rue, still be what's up, there. man? Same, you to be to honest. Attend to here. <laughs> also, barely. So be yes, I'll I agree. Fuck Spanish homework. <laughs> I know no, like, no Spanish, the but <laughs> screw it anyways. <laughs> and please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. Our direct object's so hard. <laughs> I, just, I don't it's know, man. I don't I know. Just yet. I say the entire world just learns... I can't even remember the name of it, but there was that language that was designed to be, like, relatively easy to learn compared to most languages and took inspiration from, like, a lot of different languages. To get into the carriage. It was kind of meant to be, like, a, a common tongue of sorts. Ow. You bruiser. Oh, wait, is that a spellcaster? Hold on. What are you doing? You leecher? Oh, damn, we're on the wrong one. I was trying to guard. <laughs> Guarding doesn't work so well when you're on the wrong one. Oh, Spanish Dictionary, okay. I was very confused for a moment, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh. Bro, that might be my favorite ability in the game so far. Oh, damn it. It's the ability just to block, like. <laughs> Weren't you in that crate to begin with and you're off for relief because you were sick. And when you came back, she was like, yeah. You're not doing too hot and you're not gonna get caught up so we're moving to this and it's basically a study hall. I mean, could be worse, right? I had to quit Spanish class because I was uh, moved from regular school to night's classes. And they didn't have a teacher that could teach me Spanish at night. <laughs> or not Spanish, French. I was doing okay. Not great at it. I've never been great at learning other languages. But other languages have always fascinated me. So, like, I was doing okay in it. But, yeah. I didn't really have much of a choice but to... But to stop. Farewell. It was an easy class, no homework, hardly did any work. The study hall or the Spanish? Because <laughs> maybe that's why you weren't doing too hot in Spanish. Just throwing the idea out there. But I'm assuming you're talking about study hall. Yeah, okay. A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door... How did that big brute not make it through chance. the door? I feel like he could have just smashed that run. garage, man. One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom. Safety. The life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Oh. We breathe. Is what you will. I don't know why what I couldn't we'll hear it. With you is take you to safety. Also, my mouse is After that, it's up to you. not working. 
<laughs> now. Ah, whatever. I don't need it. <laughs> we'll get why are you crying? Oh, because you got the old man eyes. Is that is that why you're crying? Come on, mouse. Okay, it's not that I really need it at the moment or anything. It's just bugging me that it's not working. There it goes. Watch it quit working again now because I, uh, not going to use it for a while. All right, back to the hideaway, please, so we can turn this shit in and continue on a little bit with the main storyline. A bit, at least. We should probably check, too, to see if we have enough renown for the next level. <laughs> I'm really glad Chocobo told us that the renown isn't, like, a currency. It's just a reward pool, because, man, <laughs> I never would have ended up redeeming anything. <laughs> like, Not that any of the stuff was, like, that big of a deal, but still. arrived not long after you left. If I just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. No skin off my scrot, dude. You you good. You're good. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cool Look, we all fuck up sometimes. Safely. Chill. You made exactly the right decision. Stop yourself loathing. No, I was lucky. Just do better next time. Problem solved. Tracking that slaver for months and then I said Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. What does... Were the it's goblins working for the well, slaver? Well. Like, how does them being attacked by goblins sorry. have anything to do with... with respect. We curse breakers don't miss you, because you she, commanded I don't us. like her. <laughs> we them because we I don't like her at all. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. His You're brand operation takes. went pretty well. Cole, it's not that noticeable. Others like hers, dude. Code. It's I still don't see how actually getting the brand removed dangerous. helps in cases like that, man. <laughs> like it's pretty obvious. Oh yeah, she just happened to have something vaguely brand shaped on her left cheek, not sure but not no more. I wonder what it was. I wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them, but. I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In Good time. job, lady. Hopefully we never deal with you again. <laughs> the breath of fire, rising flames. By two whole seconds it reduces it by... Gee golly, mister, that seems useless. <laughs> okay. Uh, another quest. Herbs. Herbs for my guy. I got them. Now you can go remove someone's brand. I'm sure Tarya is going to like help you with your first one, not just send you in blind. Surprised you haven't had yours removed, though. I guess if you're just gonna live here and not like leave, it doesn't really matter, though. Oh yes, this is it, and more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is unless I. You'll do fine. Taya trusts you, which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. This game's just full of self-loathers, huh? <laughs> Nobody believes in themselves. I mean, to be fair, I guess half of them were, you know, treated as slaves the majority of their life. On flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison... Wait, for real? <laughs> That's... Bruh. Failure means death. So if your slave and gets a nick on their face while like out working in the fields, they just die. Agony the <laughs> Bruh. That's fucking hardcore. That's ridiculous. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. 
knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? I'm sure you'll tell me, though. It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Then do your duty, dude. You. <laughs> Stop crying to me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I just I don't care about these okay. random NPCs crap. <laughs> like, fuck this guy. Where's mid? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if mid can just like make a device to suck the poison out of our face. Where's the high-powered laser to just break up the the ink and <laughs> remove the tattoo that way? Okay, I don't think there will be any more hunts. I'm pretty sure, like side quests, they just appear after certain events. Yeah, okay. So we're now on board. Welcome and to the then... Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Safe passage. Not long ago, I was accosted by footpaths as I walked to go to path. I would have perished alone in the desert had not the curd brace breakers come to my aid. I owe them my life. May this token serve them well. Dire Wolf oh, Jess. Okay. What the hell is Dire Wolf Jess? It looked like a piece of gear. Combo damage by 5%. I mean, that sounds like shit, but considering, you know, like, what, 80% of your attacks are just the basic square combo? That would probably actually add up to something decent. I'm not going to use it, <laughs> but... We have I'm sure it's not of strange like useless like it feels places, or as useless as it feels as yet if only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith well keep at it if anyone can piece this puzzle together it's you and I'm willing to wait as long as it takes come on somebody's gonna come in and be like I have an idea <laughs> Finally. <laughs> good vote, good vote. What? I like that one. Here. Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that. What just happened? <laughs> I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. That was the weirdest okay. interaction. We just stood we there, and then she said, what? Here? We, um, have a guest. A guest? I'm confused. Doesn't take much, but confused nonetheless. Trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? I do love the Hi, uncle as well, dude. Tub a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> How did he find the place? Did we, like... I mean, I imagine we told him about it. Like, did we give him directions on how to get here? <laughs> Money. I mean, hey, fair. Fair. That's probably no. I was gonna say that's probably how Kuka learned of the place too, but he had that spy dude. Can't wait to tear down that crystal. Fuck up that view forever. The Dalmekian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. 
still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. Bruh. The twin side stores <laughs> are not as bottomless as... That child is a little too attached to their mother. Right. And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Nah, there's some sort of backroom deal going on there, dude. It is not now, as simple as come to the question of precisely Kuka just giving up. Like, will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the Dion's negotiations fire? open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan. Mm, that's right. Not to be. Dion's the older one, not the younger one. Okay. I was like, wait, is and she claiming her son's a dominant as well? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. What a fucking dick. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Dion end up on our side in some way, or is he just gonna blindly fo follow his father? I'm hoping he gets a small redemption arc. Prepare for battle. Sire. What? <laughs> what was with the flower? Myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. I feel like Dion just if that is your wish, has like a decent Olivia's. heart. He just blindly fo follows advice. his father. Really, it's the king and her that I feel like are major assholes. Our mother and king of the empire. My I know, that's what I was saying when I first saw it. Like, that boy's a little too attached to his mom, dude. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Let him switch sides! Come to the hideaway! So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. 
Oh, I hate her so much. <laughs> I hate her so much. She just wants her own son to rise to power. That's all it is. Oh. This woman. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. I can't wait for the moment she dies, dude. I hope it's by our hand, but however it happens, I just can't wait. I doubt he came just for a house call. I'm assuming he's either fleeing or he comes bearing probably not so great news. Ah, my dear nephew. Though maybe he knows something about oh, Kuka. Which way Kuka went? <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most Ah, uh, of course. I forgot about Wade. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was, aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers. <laughs> 2,000! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, God. Good guy, Byron. I and like him. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Please do. Give us another top-down view of what's going on in the world. <laughs> it is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Wulud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. She also got across the, the desert. <laughs> not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. <laughs> yeah.
So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. Thank you. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Do you really want to risk being to seen money. with me, though? Like, I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Mid's finished outfit, no little workshop on. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. Yes, yeah, that's better. <laughs> the lands are in the Fang, or all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. I mean, that's Gav, true. Otto, <laughs> I'm sure that was in response to something, but I don't remember what meant. Nello, good morning, man. Catching us right near the end, honestly. Once we get off this place, I'm probably gonna head back to bed myself. <laughs> I am tired as hell. Right, I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. I expect another 20 minutes of cutscenes, though, because that's just how the game is. <laughs> it is. It is a short stream for me. I was late because I fell asleep. And, well, like, I wouldn't say fell asleep, I guess. I knew I was going to fall asleep because I was very tired. Uh, but normally, I wake up shortly after falling asleep. This time, I didn't. So, <laughs> Noodle ended up waking me up. Otherwise, I'd probably still be asleep right about now. New area unlocked, though. That's cool. I was starting to think we would spend the entire game in those two regions to the north. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Wait, is he actually gonna, like, adventure with us? Bruh. <laughs> Should we, like, stay out of... Combat? Can he handle himself? I mean, I know he has a sword, or an axe, rather, but... Like... He doesn't really give off the elite fighter vibes. Okay, we're gonna go here. And that's probably where we'll call it at. What is this? The bandit's bed. Interesting. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings. I just want to see him fight. Does he fight? He does. He's rushing in. 
Get him, Byron. Is he going to do anything? There we go. I guess it's probably hard for an axe wielder to get people like in the air, though. Which is fair. Is he just here for show? Hit him. There we go. <laughs> He's actually got pretty decent damage from the looks of it, too. I mean, that was just like a basic enemy, but still. Not completely useless. Can we run into that sand tornado? I'm getting distracted. I can't help it. Oh, it's gone. There's one. Oh, it's not as impressive as it <laughs> looked from a distance. Never mind. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a bear. I would never. Ooh. Hello, useless collectible. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gil. People on the road, hello? Lizard! Aw, I can't, I can't interact with the lizard. Damn it, it looked tasty. Soldiers in the inn. That sounds fun. I like all the chocobo tracks in the ah, in the sand. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know this heat has given me quite a thirst? Uh, quick drink before we press on. Well, go ahead. No? Okay. Oh, he probably means, like, stop and have a drink. <laughs> I was thinking he was saying, like, from his water pouch or something. <laughs> I'm dumb. Don't mind me. Steeds, no doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Again, would it not be best to not be not seen together? Now, like, Torgal. dogs aren't allowed inside. If people get the idea that you're working with me here, that's gonna that's gonna put a real hamper in your uh staying undercover thing you got going on. Oh sure, yeah, that hood will definitely protect your identity. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. <laughs> what do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils mm. and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, girl! Coming! Chocobo oh, soup, pal. yummy. Would you rather be my squire? It makes sense to eat them, but they just... I mean, like, I've eaten emu before, which would probably taste similar, I guess, but... 
anytime I think of them, I think of them more as like work animals, which would just be tough. <laughs> Wait. I was gonna say, yeah, isn't that Joshua's helper lady, attendant, whatever? Good to see our brothers doing well. <laughs> Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that. Some flavored yes, coughs. <laughs> you must at least agree mm. to take your medicine. Nice flavor of iron with my coughs. I love it. <laughs> so I'm assuming Joshua's gonna try to get Dion on our side. I'm assuming that's what he wants to talk about. Is she going to see Clive? Tastes great. Wonderful start of the day. Happy to say I've never uh, experienced starting my day with iron-flavored coughs. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. You have? We'll leaving soon enough. Why the Lord commands I'm happy for you. Oh my God, that's, that that's good. Skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We've a long way to go. Hey, you. Uh, poor Byron. Had to open his mouth. Sorry. Twice for long spans of time, both times it happened. I <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. I'm sorry, my guy. That <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Glad it hasn't happened recently. I hope that I know of at least. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Now, if you had just looked a little further around the corner, you would have seen us. And then maybe we could have helped each other. You two are travelers, are you not? I happen to know like a, a wonderful healer or two. Here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah. I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, girl, come on. Come on. <laughs> Friend. Everybody just leaving the the inn here. Makes sense. <laughs> Doesn't want to waste the food, I suppose. I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Isn't he meant to be our squire? Start calling him Uncle now, people are gonna, uh, you know, get suspicious. Uh, I don't think I was angled too well here. Ah, no, I got a few of them. I don't suppose we can... Yep, summon a tornado indoors. <laughs> that seems reasonable enough. <laughs> I love just watching them all float around in the, the freaking thing here. 
the tornado. Well, GG, you guys. Can't see shit. I yeah. <laughs> With that tornado going, no one can, man. It's impossible. You just hit either dodge or punch and hope for the best. It's magic wind. It gets a pass. Real trouble. <laughs> uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> God damn it, Byron. <laughs> Is now really the time? I, I mean, you probably did just, like, give her a year's worth of money there, but let's go, dude. Come on. <laughs> Byron is just very jolly and very rich. Like, he's a good guy all in all. Don't trust them? Yeah, he's our uncle, man. He's helped us out a couple of times now. He's a good guy. Now's our chance. Are you not going to tell him about us? You're great. Oh! That's our brother and his uh, attendant. Yeah. I don't understand why she's not telling him that we're the ones downstairs, though. I mean, I'm not sure Joshua would, would want to see us anyways, but... Given, like, the whole Ultima thing in his chest and... The fact that he's been... More or less avoiding us since... Phoenix Gate... Oh. Clive? How do you know exactly which room to go into, though? That's a little weird. What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Don't understand, like, why he's avoiding us. Other than the Ultima thing. Like, now that he's got that in him, it makes some level of sense. Because I imagine him getting too close to Clive would probably trigger... Ultima <laughs> to try to escape even quicker. Where are you? Or you could have at least finished like cleaning all of the blood off your <laughs> neck there and whatnot before you well, left, man. You didn't know where to find <laughs> before. We do now. All right, guys. Oh, it's so close. It's so tempting to just, like, walk down to there because it's so close. But no. Because if I do that, there's going to be another 20 minutes worth of cutscenes, and then I'm never going to get any sleep tonight. So <laughs> we're going to call it there. It was a short stream. I do apologize for being late, guys. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Um, Yeah, no, tomorrow will be more of this. What game is this? Final Fantasy 16. Uh, <laughs> God. I need sleep. Some Traverse style shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I <laughs> That would be hilarious if we catch up with him. Or like where he was and then it just cuts to a cutscene of him like escaping that and then just, yeah. <laughs> Some Scooby-Doo Traverse Town shit. That would be hilarious. But anyways, yeah. No, thank you guys. I appreciate you all uh, hanging out with me a little bit while I played. Final Fantasy 16. Uh, Rue, I hope your Spanish goes a little bit better. Nate, I hope uh, you stop coughing up so much blood, my guy. <laughs> like, Jesus. Everybody else, just have a good night, guys. Uh, bye bye <laughs> and be kind to each other, y'all. Uh, <laughs> dying. <laughs>